Jonathan Power in the green. Anthony Ricketts in the blue with white shorts in this opening semifinal of the Pace Canadian Squash Classic. Jonathan Power, the 30-year-old from Toronto, now makes his home in Montreal, has won this event three of the past four years. And in qualifying for the semifinal, he beat the former world junior champion, James Wilstrop, in four games, and then was a winner over the uh, former number one future Hall of Famer, Peter Nickel, in three games in the quarterfinal. Anthony Ricketts is from Sydney, Australia, the 25-year-old former world number six, has now slipped to number 14 in the world, is seated 10th here. In the first round, he beat Nick Matthew of England, Matthew withdrawing through injury. And then in the quarters, he beat the number one player in the world, Lee Beachel of England, in three games. Beachel, though, also at the end, complaining of injury. Well, this is not a good start for Anthony Ricketts. Very important for him to get into the game here, get a good start, really try and lengthen out this first part of the match. Jonathan Power has a tendency to finish his opponents off very quickly. So it's really up to Ricketts to get into a rhythm. Wow. Great start by Jonathan Power. It's the opening game of this first semi-final. Jonathan Power out to a quick four love lead over Australia's Anthony Ricketts, the 25-year-old from Sydney, former world number six, has tumbled in the world rankings. He's been bothered by injury, particularly his knees, has had a couple of knee surgeries in the last year. Well, that's right, Anthony Ricketts really was one of the up-and-coming players, one of the challengers for the number one spot. Reached number six on the rise, back to number 14 after having seven months off Vic. That's a long time in professional sport. First point won by Ricketts. The man you'll hear in the chair is Graham Waters. He's the referee, and he is part of the World Squash Association, part of their rules committee. Yeah, very experienced man. He's not going to be making too many mistakes in this match, I don't think. Squash is obviously very ambiguous. You need a strong head in the chair. Well, you power, was Power looking for a stroke there, possibly? Well, it was a loose shot from Anthony Ricketts into the middle of the court. But he cleared the ball. That, wasn't, that was just a let. But it was a better rally from Ricketts. He really was getting the ball into the back of the court, forcing Power back, not allowing, allowing him too many opportunities to attack, which really is, is his forte. Well, again, some good backcourt work from both guys. But you're right, Powers is forced back to the, the back corner and comes up now with the unforced error, and it's now 2-4. Well, Ricketts got his reward. Wow, good get. That, that front backhand corner is Jonathan Power's favorite corner. He loves to shape the game around hitting the winning shot there. And if Anthony Ricketts was smart, he'd keep it away from that corner. That too is something you don't often see, is the side front wall. He likes to play that often, doesn't he, Power? Yeah, that's a shot that was, well, especially the short shot, the short trickle boast. Something that was invented by the great Australian Rodney Martin. Jonathan Power 
one of the best shot makers in the game. He's got every shot available to him. Whoa, good get. Boy, a lot of play, a lot of hard work for Alette stays 2-4. Well, again, this is good play for Manny Ricketts. He's really shown Jonathan that he has to work hard for every single point here. The longer he keeps power on court, the better his chances get. Again, as Martin mentioned, there is a new scoring system in pro squash to 11 point on every rally. If we get to a situation where it's 10-10, then we play a tie break and you have to win by two. Oh, wow, had him going the other way off the back wall. <laughs> and wow, what a shot. Beautiful shot by Power. He just cut that forehand drop shot. It really is deadly in these front corners. 5-2, winning the point, you get the serve back and you hold the serve until you lose the point. Well, the big difference that scoring system makes is that it makes every point count even more. And the intensity of the rallies increases somewhat as well. So, you need to be fit. Well, again, this is a great rally from Ricketts. An incredibly fit man, one of the best trainers on tour. He's like a dynamo. Well, it's a nice use of all the angles in this rally, Vic. Who's going to make the mistake? Ricketts, power. Well, Ricketts wants to keep this rally going all day. Down low, nice get, better. Back corner, backhand get by Ricketts. And back into the rally. Oh. <laughs> well, there we see Jonathan Power. He forced the loose shot. And then he used, he shaped for the front of the forehand drop shot and then flicked his wrist at the last moment. Very deceptive shot, but not quite as tight to the wall as he would have liked. Anthony Ricketts, looking for the stroke there. Just playing a lap. Five-two, Jonathan Power leading as we play here in game one. Well, that's great oh, work given. No, I think that was great work from Anthony Ricketts there. It was, uh, I think that was a no let in the end. Ricketts hitting the ball very tight to the wall. So the ball was down, so it's 3-5. <laughs> My great three ball boast from Jonathan Power. Hit the ball all around the angles. Dying into the front backhand nick. Great shot. 6-3, Power.
Well, Vic, when you look at great athletes, whatever sport they play in, one of the greatest attributes, especially in racket sports, is mm -hmm. if they have fast hands and fast feet. And that is what Jonathan Power has in gallons. He is and for somebody that isn't particularly big, I mean, there is a, there's a height difference, a reach difference here. Ricketts has that advantage. What to do? Drops it short. Well, Jonathan Power, certainly not small, nearing the six foot mark, but uh, he seems to have a, a lower center of gravity than most of the guys. He can really hold that middle position. And with his great racket, racket skills, he controls the middle of the court, but not there. Just laps of concentration, Vic, pushing the ball into the tin. Jonathan Power with a 6-4 lead over the Australian Anthony Ricketts here in game one of this opening semifinal of the Pace Canadian Squash Classic. Power in green and black. Great shot from Power. Well, that was really his, uh, his, his backhand drop shot that created that opening. But it's interesting here, Anthony Ricketts is really forcing Power back. He's forcing Jonathan to really be very measured and, and very patient about which shots he does attack. And he's a guy that likes to express himself. The more Anthony Ricketts makes him think about it, the more likelihood Jonathan Power is going to make a mistake. One thing that uh, Power was able to do in his, his win, his quarterfinal win over Nickel, the former number one, was to disguise the shots. Yeah, that was a phenomenal performance by Power. Wow. Well, that's a little bit too much for running for me, says Anthony Ricketts. 8-4, Power leading. Jonathan Power with an 8-4 lead here in this opening game of the first semifinal. Still to come, we'll have Graham Riding of Toronto against the world number two from France, Thierry Linku. This is the fifth meeting between these two. And it has been power that's won them all. In fact, two of them this past October. One at the Hungarian Open, which power won. They won in the, he beat them in the semifinal and then in the quarterfinal of the St. Louis Open. Well, it's a good clash of, well, it's a clash of styles for Anthony Ricketts anyway, because he loves playing at a fast pace. And that's the, the tactic that seems to work against a lot of the other players on tour. But Jonathan Power, he loves that fast pace. He, he sees the ball so quickly, such fast hands and feet. He just thrives in that. And the other suggestion has been, Martin, that he, this new scoring system is just tailor-made for Jonathan Power. Absolutely. He loves the big points. He's a great hustler. No let, and so the point goes to Anthony Ricketts. It is 5-8. Boy, right off the wall, quickly returned. And again. Oh. Well, power shown that he could get there, but Anthony Ricketts having a little quizzical look at the referee. I think he thought that he was through to play that ball. He should have played it. But still, 5-8. So a couple of quick points for Anthony Ricketts, and it's a two-point opening game.
once again, Power is forced to go play deep. Well, again, this is smart play from Ricketts. Great length on the ball. Forcing power to be more patient. Remains 6-8. Ricketts serving. Well, Jonathan Power really is the man to beat in Toronto. And if Anthony Ricketts is going to do it, this is the right way to do it. He's 6-8 down at the moment, but his tactical play is fantastic. And if he doesn't win this first game, he's got his reward because he's managed to drag Jonathan into a little bit of a physical game. Well, considering the way the game... The way the game started. Point awarded, stroke awarded to Ricketts. It is now 7-8, and we're seeing the first bit of anger from Power, who has led a four-love lead slip away. Oh. Oh, a very sportsmanlike from Ricketts, calling his own ball down. I don't know if that would happen at 10-0 in the fifth game, Vic. Jonathan Power, three-time champion with a 9-7 lead as we play here in this opening game of this first semifinal of the Pace Canadian Squash Classic. Power took an early four-love lead. But Ricketts, you say, has been playing him perfectly. Well, he's playing the tactic, probably the only tactic, the only chance he's got to win this match. Drag him into a long, long game. Make power, be patient. Don't show him too many easy shots to, to attack from. And we see there, Jonathan Power's movement, a little bit staccato, going to the back. He loves going forward, so strong, such great balance. Oh, unforced error there as he catches the uh, tin. And so it is now 8-9, Anthony Ricketts serving. Remember the scoring system, we play to 11. If we get to 10 all, we play the tie break and you have to win by two. Oh, some good use of the angles in this rally. Excuse me. It's a little bit of traffic in the middle. Yeah, not a lot of room. As, because both players said the tee, the middle of the court, was all important. Well, that's what these guys want to do. They want to control the center of the court, move the other guy around, and eventually hit the winning shot. That is very frustrating if you're a player you want on that tee and you're... Your opponent's blocking you from getting on there. See, Jonathan Powers controlling it at the moment. Oh, well, this is loose. Good get, though, by Ricketts. Oh, Oof. oh well, the crowd not happy about that one. It remains 8-9, Ricketts serving. Well, it wasn't a particularly great shot from Power, but he looked as though he was clear. And in the Ricketts should really have played that ball. Oh, 
Well, we see the intensity. Well taken. The intensity of these rallies has increased the last couple of rallies. This exciting stuff. Oh! Well, he created his opportunity. He forced a loose ball from Power, but just stuck it into the tin. Gives Jonathan Power game ball in the first game, 10 points to eight. Jonathan Power serving for the opening game here in this first semifinal of the Pace Canadian Squash Classic. Took an early four, nothing lead. But Anthony Ricketts of Australia has battled back. And so it's 9-10 now, Ricketts to serve, Ricketts needing the point to force the tie break. We're playing to 11, you have to win by two. If we get to 10 all, then we'll play the tie break, have to win by two there as well. Oh, well, and Jonathan Power, error. just a, a rush of blood to the head there from dominating the first part of this game, being eight points to four up. And Enriquez really has played great squash, been very patient, pushing power into the back of the court. So now we play the tie break, tied at 10, and you have to win by two. And you're right, as it, Martin, if uh, power should lose this, this has been a gift given away, hasn't it? Well, the referee plays, plays a late, Andy Ricketts hits the ball down the middle. Jonathan Power just fluffing his shot, but uh, the, told the referee he stopped his shot out of safety. So, play the point again. Well, that ball out, handing power, so the game power ball. So power has a chance for the game here. Deep into the corner, oh, what a great <laughs> shot. What a wonderful return as he went cross court. Jonathan Power wins it, 12-10 the opening game.